Hello, I'm Nopur Rajay. I am the director of the Center for Multiple Myeloma at the Massachusetts General Hospital Cancer Center and also a professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School. I'm excited to share with you the data that we presented at this year's ASH uh, meeting in Atlanta a couple of days back. Uh, we presented data on a phase one trial of CRB402. This was a BCMA targeted CAR T cell therapy with BB21217 in patients with relapsed refractory myeloma, which I presented on behalf of all of my co-investigators. BB21217, as you all know, is an anti-BCMA CAR T cell therapy. And most of you are familiar with IDACEL, which is now approved for the treatment of multiple myeloma. The difference between IDACEL and BB21217 is the fact that BB21217 is exposed to a drug product called BB007, which is a PI3 kinase inhibitor, with the idea of enriching for T cells, which will display a memory like T cell phenotype. And on the slide in the right panel, I'm just showing that once this drug product is created, we in fact do see a memory T cell phenotype with increased expressions of LEF1, CD27, and CCR7, and down regulation of some of these proteins, suggesting that we are able to increase the memory phenotype. The trial design, uh, I think most folks are familiar with. We included patients with relapsed refractory myeloma. Uh, we had a total of 72 patients uh, with a data cutoff of July of 2021 with a median follow-up of nearly two years. Uh, the drug product was created by leukopheresing patients and prior to giving back these autologous CAR T cells, patients got fludarabine and cytoxan. This was a dose uh, escalation trial, a phase one dose escalation trial, wherein we started off with 150 million cells and went all the way to 450 million cells, which is going to be the recommended phase two dose of this CAR T cell product. Um, it's important to highlight the fact that majority of these patients were very refractory to previous treatment. And we had a pretty high proportion, close to 40% of patients who had high risk features in the way of either deletion 17P, 414, or 1416, as can be seen on this slide here. Again, as mentioned already, they were refractory to all other prior lines of treatment in more than 80% of the cases. This drug product was very well tolerated. We are all now familiar with some of the toxicities associated with CAR T cells. Cytopenias did exist, but most of them resolved by month one or month two. And if you look at cytokine release syndrome also, it was highest in the highest dose of the drug product, but in general was very well managed with only a few patients requiring tocilizumab and corticosteroids in this clinical trial. Neurotoxicity was also seen in the minority of patients, so in general, very well tolerated. What was remarkable was the overall response rate. We saw an overall response rate of 74% uh, when we used the drug product at the phase two recommended dose of 450 million cells. And we, in this refractory patient population, also saw a significant number of patients achieving a minimal residual disease negative state. This translated into a duration of response. The median overall progression-free survival was about 12.8 months. At the recommended phase two dose, our uh, PFS was about 18 months. If you look at 450 million cells, we haven't really reached our duration, median duration of response. And if you look at patients who achieved a stringent CR, which was seen in about 39% of patients, the median duration of response there was 34.8 months. So certainly when compared to IDACEL, the data with this enrichment of this memory uh, like T cell phenotype, we seem to have an improvement in duration of response as well. Uh, when you look at persistence of these CAR T cells, we were able to see persistence of CAR T cells all the way out to two years, which is again different from the 
uh, either sell drug product. And when you compare this naive signature based on transcriptome analysis, we were able to correlate the fact that the naive signature correlated with better clinical outcomes with respect to response rates, duration of response, as well as progression-free survival. If you look at CD4 cells with a naive uh, uh, T cell phenotype, the median duration of response was 34.8 months. With CD8, it was close to 27.2 months. Again, showing that enriching for this memory, uh, naive memory like signature in this T cells does improve clinical outcomes. So in summary, I think we have a newer drug uh, product, although it's targeting the same uh, BCMA CAR T cell uh, drug product by enriching for these naive T cells, we are seeing improvements in duration of response where in patients at a 450 million cells have continued to remain uh, in remission uh, beyond the follow-up on this clinical trial. The toxicity was well managed. We've completed accrual on this trial and look forward to starting the phase two study with um, BB21217. Thank you so much for your attention.